Hey guys, Shaber 1000 here. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be putting a carburetor on this Boland's Weed Eater. It's a BL110. It's 25cc. Uh, now, what we did here, we replaced the primer bulb. If you guys remember me putting the new fuel lines on, the primer bulb was bad. Now, I put a new primer bulb on it, but inside of the carburetor right inside here okay there's a diaphragm in there and that was sticking it wouldn't pump up the fuel all the time so what we're going to do is we're going to put a new carburetor on it now I could have got the diaphragm in the gasket for like seven or eight bucks online but I got the whole thing primer bulb um, two extra primer bulbs which we can always use these um, I got fuel line and I got two gaskets here and I got all that oh also I got the adjusting screw for the carburetor to adjust the carburetor so I also got that <clears throat> Uh, I got it all for 15 something. So 15 bucks free shipping. It, it came with just in a few days. So I figured that was the way to go with this. So what we're going to do first of all is I'm going to try to do this unedited. We're going to change the carburetor and we're going to fire it up and see if it'll run. Which it should. So right here on the side here there's a... I don't know if you can see if this camera's picking it up right there. Let's turn the light on and see what happens here. Okay, right here. You just push that in, and this will flip out of the way. There, just like that. And that'll flip up out of the way. I just always take them off. That is your filter. Make sure it's clean. Got a little dirt in it. Not the major. So, but that's that's pretty much your filler. Um, so, there's that. Now, right here, it looks like it's got a like an Allen wrench, which is probably uh, you know metric, but it will also take a standard screwdriver. Okay, so let's go ahead and take these screws out here. This is your choke. When you have it on choke, it blocks off your air to the to the carburetor. And that's half choke. And that is open. That's that's where it's at when you're running it, when you're weed eating. For those of you that may not know, that's how a choke works. You have to block off air on a cold engine for them to run properly. Okay, so two screws on this one that's all there is okay that holds it on as far as uh, fastener wise okay now you are going to have your your lines your fuel lines okay I'll take them out set them aside they're the same size so don't hurt to mix them up now up here on the top let me get you over here right here is your throttle cable if I can zoom in a little bit on that. Okay, right there. Right there's your throttle cable. Shoot. Where you at? I'll get you down here. Where you can see. Right there. All you have to do is pull up on that and turn it. And that comes out of that little hole right there. Okay. And then, of course, like I said, your two fuel lines on the bottom. Remember which way they go. Because one way it will not run okay so on this one that'll be the suction side and that'll be the input side okay so and there's what we've got right there there's the carburetor back you up a little bit that's where the carburetor bolts on to okay so now we have to take this part this plastic part off of the carburetor okay so all you do to do that is pop it off 
that's it. I don't have to clean any of this uh, old gasket off because it stayed right here on the carburetor. Now let's match these up. Okay. Let's see if they look the same. Okay. Match them up. Inlets for the fuel, primer bulb. This is for your idle mixture. Okay. Now up here on top, one of these is low speed mixture and one's high speed mixture. That's your air fuel mixture. Okay, so let's see. Alright. Looks like it is a match. Okay. So now this this one here is going to take this gasket. All right. Wait a minute. No, I just had it. Where you at? Okay. Oh no! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Had it backwards. This gasket goes out here for that. See that little hole there? I know you guys probably can't see very well, but that's going to change here in a few days. And this has a rubber gasket right in there. So you don't need one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little deal here, turn it up, Let's get you zoomed in a little bit. Okay, turn it up, put that right in that hole just like that, and then your carburetor is going to set on just like that. Okay, see that? All right, I got to hurry up because I'm running a little on battery again. All right, so we're going to put that on there, and we're going to start by putting a screw in this top hole, just like that. And I'm going to put it in through the carburetor and that will hold your gasket. Now I can start that screw, get it started. Now make sure your bottom part of your gasket is lined up and you can do that by looking in the bottom hole right down here. If you look in that bottom hole, you'll know if the gasket is lined up. Now I see the hole. So what I'm going to do is, there, and you line it up. Now I'm going to look at the bottom just to make sure if that gasket is not lined up right here at the bottom of that, when you look there, you'll see it hanging down or whatever. Do not tighten it up or make another hole, it'll ruin your gasket, and you'll suck air in here. It won't, won't, uh, it won't run up to, uh, you know, it, it won't run right because it's sucking too much air. Now, a lot of these gaskets, sometimes they get old and brittle, and like this one, I mean, it's stuck on there pretty good, but if, if you get a leak, like right through here, it'll suck air, and you're getting too much air, so sometimes, you know, if you gotta choke it out, you're either getting too much air or not enough fuel, so that could be an issue too. A lot of times it's not, it's usually in a fuel system, but, okay, I'm we'll gonna try to, Hurry this along. Okay, tighten these up. They don't have to be super duper tight, but now we're going to hook our fuel lines up. One goes there. That one goes there. Now, in this primer bulb, let's see if we see some fuel come up into this primer bulb. And there it is. I don't know if you can see that or not, but See a few in there? So that's good. The other one wasn't doing that. I may have enough battery life to show you why real quick. Let's see. Um, because when I took this off, I'm so tired. I'll show you what this little diaphragm looks like. A little bit of fuel here but I am in the garage so please and, and the garage door is wide open so there's a gasket here and this little blue thing you're looking at is the diaphragm 
sorry. And these little things right here are called reeds. And they'll stick. Either open or closed. And you're not, it's not, you know, going to let the fuel go into the holes where, where it needs to go. So, I mean, the carburetor itself is fine. Does it run fine? Long you squirt a gas in it. So, alright. Now, I'm going to take you out here. And let's see if this thing will start. <clears throat> oh, sorry guys. Like I said, I'm kind of tired. Bring you out here. Oh, whoops. Mm. Yeah, the garage is a mess. We've got to clean it out. So, I don't know if you guys can see me here or not. What if I turn you around this way? Can you see any better that way? Okay, let's see. Okay, there we go. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put the cover back on here. Right here. And of course it just goes on the same way. There's two little clips right there. Just put them on there. Make sure they're in, of course, just like that. Okay. Now let's fire this thing up. I know it does run, but it would run and shut off. So let's see. All right, we've already primed it, but I'm going to prime it a couple more times. I'm going to put it on full choke. Let's try to start it, guys. I don't know if you guys can see this very well, but... Now, when it does that, you put it on half choke, like I was telling you about. Now, it sounds like that. Open your, open your choke up. What's going on? Okay guys, my throttle just came unhooked up in here somewhere. Adjust these carburetors, it's best to let it warm up before you adjust them because think about it, that's when you want them running good after it's warmed up. And I'm going to turn the idle down a little bit here. So, let me grab my screwdriver. Okay guys, that sounds pretty good. I don't think I'm going to adjust the carburetor itself in it right now. That sounds pretty good right there. Let me turn the idle up just a smidgen. Like I said, it's warming up. why my throttle cable just quit working, but anyway. So that's sounding pretty good there. 
Um, I've got a red, I've got a battery light, blank, blank, Jesus, I can't even talk. All right, guys, so there you go. That's how you change a carburetor on a little Boland's uh, 25cc uh, weed eater. Really nothing to it, a couple screws. Take your time, like I said, if you do have to adjust the carburetor any, uh, wait till it gets warmed up. You know, warm it up, let it get real warm and then go from there so all right guys that being said it's a long enough video so like i said battery light is blinking so i'm gonna get off of here i'm gonna go get cleaned up and i'll chat with you guys soon stay tuned for my other projects you've seen laying in there and maybe this weekend i may have another um, unboxing for you so i gotta go guys thanks for watching remember check out monkey 1000 channel and shea bear the myth man legend I'm gone. You guys enjoy the rest of your week. Bye-bye now. Take care.